If you're staying in the main hotel strip of San Juan and you don't have a rental car, you may think the only sites you can visit are the beach and the old city. Not true. We're going to take a day trip to some cool sites away from the tourist district and all you'll need is some pocket change. We're in front of the Marriott Hotel in the Condado, the midpoint between the airport and the old city. And this is an excellent place to start a walking tour because from here you can get to many points of interest by foot, train, and bus. We're starting our tour with a quick trip to the world famous Placita de Santorce, a sort of local farmer's market. Then we'll take the train out to the botanical gardens of the University of Puerto Rico and finally stop off at a panaderia or Spanish bakery, which has been a local favorite for years. So walking away from the Marriott, you're going to pass through the Stella Maris Park, which isn't the official name, but all of us locals call it that. And you'll head down towards Calle Wilson, which is just a couple of minutes ahead of me. So once you get to Wilson, you'll take a left. The next street that you're going to get to is Primavera. You'll turn right, right there. Traditionally in Puerto Rico, every town had a Plaza del Mercado, a designated place for people to come and trade. Santurce is now a part of San Juan, but for many years it was its own municipality. So it retains its own Plaza del Mercado, or Placita, as we locals like to call it. The Placita is a quiet fruit and vegetable market by day, a major party spot by night. Buen día. Me da una empanadilla de carne y una batida de guineo y papaya con todo para llevar, por favor. Grande o pequeño? Grande. Here eating one of the necessities of life, and even though it's early in the morning, I'm having my deep pie. It's fried to perfection. It's a stinking hot day, even this early in the morning, and I have just been waiting to take a long sip of this fruit batida. Now, after our batida break, it's time to head back out to the heat and catch a bus to the Sagrado Corazon train stop. We pause here for an important announcement about buses. Number one, buses in Puerto Rico are a great way to get around if you've got time to kill, but not if you're in a hurry. They don't necessarily run on schedule. Number two, buses do not give change or accept bills. You must have exact change. And number three, you may only flag down a bus at a bus stop. Short of thermonuclear warfare, nothing will make a bus stop before a bus stop. Leaving the Placita, you take a right and continue towards Ponce de Leon Avenue. Then be sure to cross the street before you head to the closest bus stop or the bus will take you to Old San Juan instead of the train station. It's a quick 10 minute trip to the Coupe train station where you'll be getting off and heading by foot to the Botanical Gardens. Exiting the station, you should see a Burger King ahead to your right. At the corner, turn away from the Burger King and head in the direction of the tall building with green tiles. So as you can see, it's looking a little rough around the edges here. They're putting in a new train station and doing some other construction. But by the time you come, it'll probably look a lot nicer. You're going to just cross a simple bridge that goes over a small stream. We've just entered the Jardín Botánico. But already the heat and noise of the city is being left behind and we can hear birds and it's appreciably cooler. The Jardín Botánico is composed of a number of different gardens. Right now we are in the Jardín Monet, which is a tropical take on Monet's garden in Giverny where he painted many of his famous works. I've never seen a tourist at the Jardín Botánico, but here's a little secret. Many of us locals don't bother coming here. In fact, I was born and raised in Puerto Rico, but the first time I came here was a couple of years ago when my husband brought me. This is a hidden treasure. 
there's a ton more in the botanical gardens, including agricultural research stations, lakes, wedding chapels, even an experimental rum station. But we'll have to let you go see all that for yourself because we need to leave time in this program for our stop at the bakery and the ice cream shop. So we're heading up to El Cantabrico, a panaderia where you can get some great sandwiches. It's been a favorite of locals in this area for years. And by the way, my family used to like to come here. We have here the Medianoche, it's a sandwich that is a local specialty. It has cheese, pickles, mustard, ham, and pork. All right, it's time to step away from the sandwich. We need to leave room for dessert. Fortunately, this train stop has two options, one healthy, one not so healthy. We're not feeling so healthy. And now it's back to the train for a quick trip home. We're back at the Sagrado Corazon train station in San Thursen. We spent a whole day seeing the sights, getting away from the tourists, and we never once had to get in the car. And by the way, you can use your train ticket for one free transfer back to the Condado.